And I attend Grace United Methodist Church because I grew up in this church. I've been attending it for 53 years now. Um, left Abbeville one time, but looked for a church very similar to Grace when we did move to Alabama, and then immediately came back to Grace when we moved back to Abbeville. It's like a family to me. I attend Grace here because I've never felt so in tune with any other place in my life. I've come to love everyone here, just like family. It's just a great place to be all around. It's just fun to be here. I'm sure every place is going to have its flaws, but this just seems like a perfect match for me. Well, it, it means a lot to me because it's God's church and it's, um, it's a friendly church. It's sort of a country church. We're not an uptown church, but everybody loves everybody and everybody gets along and nobody's above each other. Everybody's on the same level here and we Everybody gets along. I think it's a great church. I've been coming now, oh, let me think, let me think, let me think, 45, uh, almost 50 years. Something like that. But, uh, and I, I still enjoy it. It's, it's a good church. I still enjoy it. Basically, I feel the same way. It's, it's like my family. This church is like my family. This is true. I totally agree with that, yes. yes. The, uh, the love that's here is the biggest thing. That's true. Yes, I agree. Grace means family. It's... It's a place where I can walk up to you, I can walk up to Jason, I can walk up to Lee and pretty much anybody here I can walk up to and have a conversation just like I was your brother, sister, son, grandson, whatever. It's, it's an amazing feeling. I would, I'll, I'll have to say, I, I was raised a Presbyterian. And when I was a kid, and I worked for the railroad for 36 and a half years, and I didn't get to attend church very much because I was working, trying to provide for my family. And I've been retired going almost six years, and it's, it's brought me closer to God. And uh, I believe, uh, I, I keep getting strong in my faith, and I see a lot of good in people that I didn't see before. People, people, people can change. People change you, and that, I think that's one thing that I enjoy so much about Grace. Grace has changed my life by me getting into the church here, the youth group, through all these, all the struggles I've been through over the years. No matter how small or big, they've helped me through it, and only a caring place would do something like that. I hope that Grace will continue to work on their outreach ministries. Um, sitting across from the high school, we have a prime opportunity to reach out to the young people of this community and help guide them in the direction that they need to go, hopefully to keep them off the streets and in places where they need to be. Um, I also hope that our Grace on Wheels program can continue to grow because there are so many hungry people in Abbeville. Um, prime thing is that I just want Grace to be out there in the community, not focused within, but focused without. We already do Saukahatchee every year. We've supported missions across seas, and I just want to see that grow and grow and grow and get bigger at year after year after year until we've literally done all that we can possibly do. Grace has helped me grow in my discipleship through a lot of the Bible studies that we have now. The uh, studies that we do um, from Beth Moore and a lot of the other things that we do, the Disciple One, Disciple Two, and the things that Jason does on Wednesday night. I have really enjoyed the Bible study things that he's done on the different books of the Bible and on our bearing fruits and you know what discipleship actually means. I think that they help you grow more as you learn more and as you study more. And I think that's one way that Grace has helped me grow in, in my relationship with Jesus is through the, the different uh, Bible studies, the walk to Emmaus, the different programs like that that we have had. And I hope that we will continue to do these things. Grace has helped me 
grow in my faith simply because they care so much. They don't care for the just as the group for a whole. They care for every single one of us as a different person and it really, really helps guide your faith along. One of my favorite things about worshiping grace is the upbeat service that we have, that we're not so strict and boring at times. Um, I just enjoy the upbeat type services that we have. You know, I guess you think back and we go back and I'm on, I'll go back in time a little bit, but we had the little white church and we had Reverend Farmer. And here we are, that was in the 60s. And here we are in the 2012. And we got Reverend Wilson, we got Jason. The people, uh, the, the friendliness of the people, uh, the camaraderie. Uh, if everybody seems to do well together, and I and I appreciate, it. I enjoy that. You can speak and smile, and everybody's happy, especially on Sunday morning. And I have, I'll go back and say something I didn't say a while ago. I, I never went to Sunday school to about maybe two years ago, and now I don't miss a Sunday. But I, I do enjoy it. I, I, I enjoy the the um, the teaching of our class, and everybody in our class has got comments to make, and I listen a lot. Don't say a whole lot, but I do listen, and I do enjoy it. And that's that's, that's one kind of thing I have to say about Grace. I, I do like the camaraderie, the fellowship, and the loving thoughts between everybody. Worshiping here is a lot of fun getting to play on Sunday, just just get to have a good time praising God. Just sit there where we, just to be in a place where we can do anything from contemporary to 100 year old hymns and have a great time doing it and praising God, that's all I've ever wanted.